coming back to school with me We could have done it all so easily Hi, my name is Craig Thompson Wood. I'm your host on Teaching with Board Games. If you're new to the channel, this channel is all about uh, education, teachers, parents at home who are looking to use games, gamification, game-based learning with their kids at home as a way to help teach. So if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, please do hit like and subscribe down below. I have my videos coming out on a weekly basis. Be assured of some regular content coming out of all kinds of different games and uh, different ideas that uh, I've heard about and would like to share with you. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a new game which is coming out by the great company Math for Love. Math for Love I just did a video about just last week and just sort of focusing on the things that they're doing and gave a little preview that I'd be talking about this game today. This is one they have coming out It's called Multiplication by Heart and this is a flashcard system. Now you may be thinking flashcards, what's so great about flashcards? Well for first off I mean if it's Math for Love give them the benefit of the doubt. They are a great company. They are really in totally devoted to teaching of mathematics and doing it in really ingenious ways. So when you see, when I saw something for Math for Love, it was just a no question for me for this Kickstarter. I, I had to back this. And I'm really glad I did. And the more I hear about this, the more I'm seeing it. And it just, it sounds like something excellent. And I'm really excited to be uh, receiving this. So again, getting back to that point, it's flashcards. So how can flashcards be different? I mean, a flashcard, you hold up a card, it has something on it, you, you relate the facts. True. But what Math for Love is doing is they're trying to make these flashcards in some ways that are going to increase and develop your not only knowledge of the math facts, but to really solidify your understanding of those math facts. So when I say like four times five is 20, well, why is four times five 20? Well, this is what these cards are going to help the students to understand. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be showing over my shoulder here, I'm gonna be showing some pictures of these different math cards and I'm talking about them to give you a sense of how this is going to work. So first off, what they're going to be doing in this in this uh, game that they have is this, well, in this, I don't know really a game, and then this flashcard stuff that they have is it's going to be uh, in four different levels. In the first level, what the cards are doing is helping the students to understand the concept that multiplication is repeated addition. So where they are seeing then, like if I have, again, the four times five, I'm going to have four groups of five. And then so you can say five, 10, 15, 20, you're adding the five four times. The second way is showing the number in an array which helps them to also understand the concept of area. But in this way, you're now seeing, understand the concept of like, well, I have like four columns of five or five columns of four. That is giving me my equation of the four times five. So just representing the numbers in a different way now to help them to understand the multiplication in a different way. Then the third way is about prime facts. And they, what they're doing is they're using their color system that they have uh, introduced in their game Prime Climb. And in this system that was introduced in Prime Climb, numbers have different values. So a two is orange, threes are green. So then a six would be green and orange because that is the multiple of those two numbers together. So it's this kind of thing that um, they introduced. It was really, really quite brilliant. And now they're in, you know, putting into the flashcard as well to help to understand to start to see some of those connections between the multiples and how the factors can break down. And finally, in level four, the students are given the product. And the product, you know, as shown over my shoulder here, the number 72. So with the two greens and the three oranges, then the students have to try to figure out all the different products that you can see in there. So, for example, if I do the three oranges and then multiply that by the two greens, so that'd be the oranges, the three oranges are, remember each orange is two, so it'd be two times two times two, which is eight. Two times two is four, times two is eight, and then the three and the three is nine. So then you have the three, the three oranges plus times the three greens is eight times nine, which is 72. Or you could be doing uh, one orange, one green, uh, which would be six, and then multiply that by the other green and the other two oranges, which would be uh, two times two is four, times three is 12, and then the two times three is six, so six times 12 is 72. So again, you know, looking at all the different possible combinations, so it just helps me leave a little bit with the patterning, 
and um, almost you can make like a tree diagram to make sure you get all the different combinations in there. But it's just, it's, you know, uh, looking at all the different products and combinations of the number 72, which again, then just deepens their understanding of the multiplication facts because they've gone, they've obviously moved beyond this point, the idea of repeated addition, the arrays and things that they are now just, you know, seeing how they can play with the numbers and how a 72 is not just exclusive to nine times eight. It also has a lot of other factors which can um, multiply to create that number. So this game is created with this learning model in mind, which is known as spaced repetition. Now spaced repetition, I'm just going to do a quick idea of here. It's just where you're doing repeated learning, but then spacing out the learning that you're doing. So you're repeating the facts that you're learning, but you're spacing them out. And then that, inc that increases the your knowledge. And so it's, it's been touted as a very highly effective way for learning. And so the, the math flashcards here have been created with that idea in mind. And I will maybe leave a link in the comment section down below to where you can read more about this spaced repetition. If it sounds like, sounds like something that's interesting to you, I'm not going to spend a while trying to explain this, which I'd probably not do a good job anyway. Better to go to this site, which has a really sort of fun, not only is learning, but you know, demonstrating to you as well the ideas of spaced repetition. So that's, as I said, this game is a Kickstarter. Math for Love has created this Kickstarter. So when Kickstarter games, if you're not familiar, are ones that you crowdfund, and once they've been funded, then the game goes into production. So the game is still currently in production. It is not available in stores yet. You cannot go out and buy it yet. Uh, it may still be a little while before you can get it. Uh, I know myself, we uh, those people who backed it are expected in December of 2020, which means it may not even come out to the stores for a few months after that. So why would I be introducing this game now if it's only going to be coming out months from now? Why not wait till it comes out and then review it? Well, there's a good reason for that. And that is because there's a site called Mathagon and Mathagon has, what they've done is they have actually put an online version of the multiplication by heart cards onto their site and you can practice them every day. And it's completely free. Uh, it's just, you're going to be limited in how many cards you can be using in, in a day. I think it's uh, 15, but I'll be taking you there in a second onto the site just to show you a little bit about how it's played online and to show you how you can access the different features on it. And I just love this. Uh, there's a great opportunity here. If you're doing something, if you're doing some sort of online learning, distance learning model, then you could be, you know, sharing your screen with your students uh, through the, the Zoom or the Google Meet or however you're doing it and then discussing with them to help deepen their understanding of these multiplication facts. So let me take you to that and I'll show you how that works online. So this is the page I was telling you about and it was um, by Mathagon and it says here as created in partnership with Math for Love and they have the different levels available for uh, what kinds of things you're gonna to wanna to do. So this is like your level one. So this is the repeated addition. So two times four, so we have two groups of four. So two groups of four, we can either do um, know that two times four is eight, or we can say four plus four, increasing understanding that the two groups of four is like adding four two times. Uh, or we can, you know, even if the students need to, they can even count, they can say, well, four, I know it's four, one, five, six, seven, eight. It's different ways to go through that. But the, the idea here is that you're increasing that understanding of the repeated addition, that two times four is equal to two groups of four. And then so then you'd put in your answer in here of eight. Okay, and it says correct. So one times four, four, it's just four, that's an easy one. Two times five. So let's say the student, you know, um, still whatever they're thinking, like two times four, they put an eight. It's just gonna give a little boom, little reminder and to put in the correct answer of eight. And you see here, so today it's, it has a little countdown here for how many um, flashcards I'm going to get. I'm only going to get 15 flashcards in a day. And then you know, the idea is with this spaced repetition is that you're, you are not just cramming everything all at once. They, they, they talk about that specifically, that cramming is not an effective way to learn. So you have to space out your learning and you're only going to get um, 15 cards a day to do. And once you've done your 15, then you will come back the next day and do more. Now what you can do as well, you can also come into here and you can change, so you can skip a day, but you can, uh, they, they explain the idea here, uh, the spaced repetition. And what I've asked is they're explaining what they're doing here, but I'm not going to take the time to read this all with you. You can always read that yourself. But uh, coming here, you can also jump to deck two. So now deck two gives you the, what I talked about with the array. So now you can, if you feel that the repeated addition is not something you wanna do, you can do this in this way and see visually four times two as an array of numbers here. Okay, and then uh, 
and then you can also go to deck three and deck three is then these prime prime numbers so as i said greens are three and sevens are purple so getting to know those is 21 and you see how they give you that together so they, they show you that the 21 is a combination of the green and the purple so when you multiply those two numbers together remembering that it's three and seven is 21 it helps you to make those connections okay four times five 22 times so they, showing that four is two twos a five a ten is a five and a two so you'll increase the understanding that four times five then is you know and then showing you how those come together in that way two oranges and a blue make the 20. but that's that's pretty much it you're going to go through this and it only gives you a limited number that you can do each day uh they don't have the level fours on here but they you know they do have the levels uh one two and three available for you to use and the as i say that whole idea of this based repetition you can work on it with the students you can you know send them to it uh, on their own time as well say you know, i'd like you to practice these talk to the parents about it and say you know use this on a daily basis please it is going to make a difference it is going to help but it's just it's a free resource it's something that kids can and adults and whoever wants to can use this online for absolutely free it costs you nothing so i would encourage you to go check that one out and when the actual physical copy comes out, then you may want to, may encourage you to, to buy that too. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. If you have any questions about multiplication by heart, or if you have any questions about math for love, please leave me a message in the comment section down below. If you know of some other great game designers out there uh, who are doing some great stuff with ed uh, educational designs and things that are used could be used in a classroom setting i would love to hear from you leave me a message and i will get back to you as soon as i can but until next time i'm craig thompson wood your host with teaching with board games saying thanks for coming to the classroom are you coming back to school with me